how Delhi is all set to host the G20 summit. This is a game changer for India for many, many reasons, not just because we're hosting it, but because it sends across a very clear message to the world. What do I mean by that? Let's take a look at what some of the takeaways of the G20 summit that will happen this week really are. As far as the impact on Bharat is concerned, this essentially cements our place as the voice of the global south, a term that the Prime Minister constantly refers to. Also, as a rising force in digital transactions, internationally, by many of the developed economies and countries, we've been hailed for our UPI system. We could also lead the change and lead the fight against climate change essentially something that G20 countries also have failed to take on enough and also the very important term of Vishwaguru and Vishwamitra at a time of global conflict amid the Russia-Ukraine war we could play a crucial crucial role in being that bridge. I'd like to bring in Gaurav Sawant on this broadcast who of course as you know not just tracks geopolitical issues but will be there on the ground at Bharat Mantapam to get you all of the updates that come in when the G20 summit kicks off. Gaurav, there's a lot of focus on uh, the takeaways really from the G20 summit and what it means for India, not just about the optics, but also going beyond that in the global order. You know, Akshita, the optics are important, but the tangible takeaways are far more important. And let's talk about India's big push. India's big push is to emerge as the voice of the global south, of the developing world. And that is why this proposal to have the African Union to be a part of the G20 permanently. And why? Now, G20 shouldn't just be a talk shop for the developed uh, world or the problems that they are facing. It's also mitigating the problems that are being faced by the developing world and help them. Uh, the debt crisis, uh, climate change, uh, energy requirements. There are so many issues. Uh, medic uh, medicines that are required, uh, debt burden, digital transformation, food and energy security. All of this is something that India is pushing on. Once again, very important, while the West wants to focus on the Russia-Ukraine war, India has repeatedly insisted this isn't the platform for it. There is a United Nations. This is a platform where the world needs to come together, the most powerful economies and the developing economies, and everyone moves together for a better tomorrow, for a better future. Um, and priorities of the developing world need to be heard and need to be addressed. So that is what India will insist on, insist on, has been trying to insist on. This is just the summit. Last one year, 200 different meetings, 50 different cities. The effort has been one, be the voice of the global south. All the issues where you have divergence, keep them aside or address them the best way possible. But the issues where everyone, there is convergence, move forward on those lines, Akshita.